All right, guys. So in the chat, who's coming with me? Who wants to go on this journey with Craig and I to really understand the true simplicity, the lack of complexity to make your golf swing so freaking simple that I wish I had figured this out a long time ago. <laughs> it's taken me so long. So who's in? Is everybody in? Everybody? All right. So here's all it really comes down to. First of all, let me let me back up a second. The trick to this is to go through this in sequence. And I've been testing this with the RSA guys for the last month. And I found that the goat drill, some of them would take it and, and be able to do it right away perfectly, and some couldn't. And the reality is, is that we're all at different levels and we're all have different athletic, athletic abilities and strengths and weaknesses and flexibility and so on. And so I had to find a way to be able to get everybody, no man left behind. I want a hundred percent success rate. And that was my goal with the first, with the RSA group, I took four weeks of doing little live webinars like this for about an hour each Saturday. So one day a week, I sent them videos during the week and I said, okay, here's what I want you to do. And then we get in and I, and I do a live webinar like this and I would help some of them on stage, try to help all of them as I could. And I would pull them each time, each week and say, okay, did you feel effortless shots? Did your consistency improve? And I didn't stop until I had a hundred percent. So out of the 12 guys, all 12 of them, improved their consistency, said their consistency was better, their power is better, their control is better, and they were feeling effortlessness. That was the goal. And so then I'm like, okay, now I want to test this with the bigger group. And that is you guys. So I'm hoping that you'll go on this journey with Craig and I to be able to understand that the golf swing is way freaking simpler than, it, than it's ever been made before, because it really does just come down and understanding how to move one part of your body. But to get there, I had to go through a process. I had to back up. Now, it's no secret that I've never been a great putter. Even when I played professionally, I've played you know, on the mini tours for eight years. I you know, qualify PJ Tour qualifying school, PJ Tour qualifying uh, events, Monday qualifiers, state opens, you name it. I've played all sorts of events. And all of that was carried on by my ball striking. I was never, ever a good uh, putter. Reasonable short game, but putting is where the money's made. And so I really had to... In order to get everybody to bring everybody up, I had to start at the beginning. And ironically, it's exactly how Tiger learned the game. And so then, as I started thinking about it, it started to make sense as I started going through his drills. Now, I know many of you haven't had a chance to go through the whole series of new videos that I posted. These were the ones that I was testing with the RSA guys. But if once you start going through this, you're going to understand that there's a very specific way that you're going to learn this that's gonna speed things up faster than you can ever imagine. The trick is going full speed right out of the gate, like we've always said, is really tough. Some people can do it, some can't. But if you start with the putter and you start with those one-handed drills, you will start to understand the golf swing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip ahead and kind of share with you the, the secret that's going to make all this tie together so that when you go back this week and you start working on these drills, you're going to understand the importance of it, the value of it, because I do want you to start right at the beginning with that one handed putter drill. It is incredibly important. So how did Tiger get everything to be so simple to tie everything together and how do you do it? The reality is it's all right here. This is the golf swing, your core. Once you learn how to move this, everything falls into place and i mean that quite literally because everything that you're going to see that uh, craig and i were working on this week and the, the incremental steps that we're working on couldn't fit i couldn't get everything to dial in perfect until i really started focusing on how to engage my core and and i've got these core activation videos i've already put up on the site but it what you you can't do it you can't have a proper golf swing without engaging this correctly. It simply doesn't work. And when you think about it, it makes perfect sense, right? How many of you struggle, just real quick in the chat, how many of you struggle with what your arms are supposed to do in the golf swing and the club going inside or across the line or you get in a weird spot at the top? Just real quick in the chat, how many of you? I, I would say there's 140 people alive on here right now. And I would say probably all of us. Yeah, see where the chat's blowing up, right? Everybody. And I struggled with the same thing. I have really long arms. You know, I'm only 5'9", but I could dunk a basketball since I was a freshman in high school. And I had a big vertical jump, but I got really long arms. 
And so my arms and my skinny chest, my arms want to do this all the time. And Craig and I were working on this this week. We're trying to get the, the next step in the series of videos, which it goes putting, chipping, pitching and wedge play, iron play, driver play. And so the next step is the, the pitching and the wedge play that you're going to see a video on in just a moment. And no matter what, I had the hardest time of keeping the club from going inside my hands. And I tried every trick in the book. And I mean, literally, Craig will, <laughs> Craig will attest in the chat. I was like, okay, Craig, I'm going to try and feel like I'm going to push down on my thumb with my right hand. And we'd try that and see what the results would be. And then I'd be like, okay, Tra Craig, I'm going to try and feel this. And I'm going to try and feel that. None of that stuff works. And you guys all know this because you, <laughs> you've all tried this, right? It's, it, it's infuriating to try and get a, a simple, consistent golf swing. Why is it so darn hard to keep that club going up on plane? Everybody wants to rip it inside. The trick is you have to have something else to move the golf club. And more importantly, how many of you know how to move or ha, ha, let, me, let me ask you this. How many of you have tried and worked on your quote unquote hip movement in the golf swing and struggled to get your hips to move like a tour pros? How many of you? Yeah, me, everybody, right? Me, me included. Oh, yeah, this chat just went exploded there. Everybody has struggled with their hip movement. Everybody has struggled with their arm movement. But what's in between those two? Your core. Your core is the secret to the golf swing. And as you'll, I'm going to show you in just a moment, by once I started realizing that if I just focused on doing my core movement, my arms and hands and my hips both automatically took care of themselves. Now, what I really had to do was unlearn things that I had done in my swing, trying to move my hips. That's one secret I'm going to tell you. You don't try to move your hips to swing like the goat. To swing like Tiger, you don't try to move your hips at all. And you don't try to move your shoulders at all. You move your core. And when you move your core, you will be able to swing exactly the same because that's really all Tiger's really doing. Now, of course, there's nuance and details and so on. That we'll, we'll get into those. But the truth is, once you learn how to engage your core and sync it up with your trail hand, so if you're right-handed, your right hand and your belly need to form a connection in your mind. And that's what the pro this program is all about. Once I started going through it myself and making myself have the discipline to go through these drills that seem like, ah, I'm already a good enough putter, forget it, I don't need to worry about this. Once I really said, no, no, I'm going to start from scratch and I'm really going to do it exactly the way that tiger does you've seen these drills he does the same things that i'm teaching you in this program once i did that my brain started changing my body movement started changing and i started moving athletic again i had gotten to the point where i i felt kind of discombobulated trying to copy tiger's movement patterns because i couldn't coordinate this upper half and this lower half very well because the part in the middle wasn't working right and that's what I was seeing with all of my students. And we were testing this with RSA and talking to free members. They all struggled with the same thing. So now, as I started working through this and started getting my right hand and my brain and my belly to work together, then everything started falling into place and everything started happening automatically without me having to think about it. And I want to show you this next piece that we're going to, I'm going to be working on these videos over the next couple of weeks. It's going to show you the next piece, and I want to see what you guys think about this to see just how incredibly similar, once you get this core working, how similar your movement patterns can be. So take a look at this, and let me tell you, or you, you guys give me your thoughts on what you see. The next phase of the program, after the putting and the chipping, is getting into pitching and wedge play. And that's what Craig and I were working on this week, is taking that next step on getting all of these things dialed in and really getting the core to work with the trail hand and get the club to move in the proper way. What you're gonna see here is building, uh, taking those building blocks that I've done in the putting and the chipping. So posture is such a big thing. Fe the feel in my right hand to control the club face, the feel in activating my core. All of those things are required before you can pitch the ball properly. So even this, the setup is so fundamental because you can't engage your core the way most golfers set up. Uh, the webinar I just did this week with the uh, free members showed so many golfers who don't engage their core at all, and so you'll see their rear end stick out a lot. The trick to this is this very subtle curvature of the spine that Tiger employs. And you'll see that I have... Didn't do a very good job there drawing that line, did I? The curvature... Is core activation 
just like you're doing a sit-up. And the reason this is so important to set up this way is that if you start with your chest popped out and your rear popped out, you're lengthening the muscles in your core, your abdominal wall. And so you actually not only not supporting your spine, but you don't have these muscles engaged to be able to move from there in the first place that we're going to talk about more in just a moment.